वेलकम टू चेयर गेट ई एस सी लेक्चर वीर इन लेक्चर नंबर थर्टी फाइव ऑफ ई डी सी नाउ दिस इज द फर्स्ट मॉडल वेर स्टिल इन द फर्स्ट मॉडल ऑफ बेसिक सेमी कंडक्टर फिजिक्स इट्स अ न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट थ्योरीज फॉर गेट एग्जाम नाउ दिस चैप्टर और दिस वीडियो लेक्चर दिस टेन मिनट्स का वीडियो लेक्चर इज एक्सट्रीमली इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर योर गेट पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ओके ना दिस इज द लास्ट वीडियो लास्ट वीडियो लेक्चर फॉर बेसिक सेमी कंडक्टर फिजिक्स दिस इज द लास्ट वीडियो लेक्चर ऑफ आवर फर्स्ट मॉड्यूल आफ्टर दिस लेक्चर विल मूव टू द सेकंड मॉड्यूल दैट इज पी एन जंक्शन ना लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट आर द थिंग्स व्हाट आर द इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग्स दैट वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर फर्स्ट इज आइंस्टेंट रिलेशन फॉर सेमी कंडक्टर सेकेंड इज रेजल्टेंट मोबिलिटी कॉन्सेप्ट and third is generation and recombination of carrier now let's start with einstein relation for semiconductor we know when there is any voltage when 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 any voltage is applied work is said to be done on the electron by electric field and that work done and that work done is nothing but v into q that means that the work done on that electron that by by electron by electric field that work done always stored inside this electron in the form of kinetic energy that work done will gives the kinetic energy of electron that will be nothing but kinetic energy equals to vq we know this concept so very simple concept plus 2 ka basic concept hai ye theek hai so according to quantum physics ye aage hum log ka thermodynamics mein hum log jo padhe the what we have studied in thermodynamics is according to quantum physics the energy associated with the electron whatever the energy that is associated with electron for now kinetic energy is associated with electron now what is uh, whatever the energy that is associated with the electron where two degree of freedoms associated with this one is circular and another one is linear that means here our kinetic energy is associated with the movement of electron or the property of electron so this energy will associate includes two degree of freedom one is your circular another one is linear now for every degree of freedom the value would be kt by 2 we know this value k means boltzmann constant now this kt by 2 is nothing but uh, your degree of freedom now k is nothing but your boltzmann constant now as it includes two degree of freedom that is circular and linear this value kinetic energy will going to replaced by the value of degree of freedom the total degree of freedom the resultant degree of freedom that is nothing but kt okay now if you replace the value of energy with the degree of freedom value then the relationship will become kt is equals to vq in place of kinetic energy we put the value of degree of freedom now from here we inc- we we got a formula we got a formula v equals to kt by q remember in place of v we can also write in place of v we can also write vt that is thermal voltage this can also be replaced this v can also be replaced by thermal voltage so this is your formula this is your formula now let's get into a m- little bit deeper into this concept that is if you uh, your diffusion constant is directly proportional to mobility value sir diffusion constant kya hai in the next video lecture when we will start our pin junction concept usko padhne se pehle we'll get into a concept of minority carrier injection at that point of time we'll again get into these relationships and we'll again get into the formula which are associated with the diffusion we'll get into the concept of diffusion we'll get into the concept of diffusion wahan pe aapko clear milega lekin for now if you increase the value of mobility if you increase the value of mobility of charge carrier if you increase the value of mobility of charge carrier higher the tendency to diffuse higher the tendency to diffuse that means what mobility is directly proportional to d okay so d equals to vt into mu here vt works as a your vt works as a proportionality constant this vt works here as a proportionality constant now in place of vt we can going to represent or we are, we are going to replace in place of vt we are going to replace the value kt by q so the relationship will came out to be d by mu d by mu is equals to vt equals to kt by q i think you've got this formula right now my point i want to make is here look here carefully this formula you'll be asked this formula in two ways in gate exam in two ways first way put the formula and get the answer kind way and the second way is 
uh, you'd be needing the value of d you'd be needing the value of d and from this formula you'll get the value of d correct and you're going to put this value in somewhere else so this formula is extremely important either you may get d by mu equals to kt by q yahan se aapke d ka value ka zarurat hoga so directly or partially this formula is going to be used is the formula will, will be used in your gate exam theek okay? hai now moving on to our second analysis when number of scattering are influencing the particle when jab bahut sare scattering ho aur wo particle ko influence kare then there will be there will be different possible mobilities like mu1 mu2 mu3 is tarike se now in order to get the resultant mobility value you can apply this formula 1 by mu resultant will nothing but equals to 1 by mu1 plus 1 by mu2 plus 1 by mu3 aise karke ठीक है यू कैन गेट द रिजल्ट एंड न्यू फॉर्मूला नाउ दिस दिस इक्वेशन दिस कॉन्सेप्ट इज क्वाइट यूजफुल इन ई एस एग्जाम्स ओके एंड अदर पब्लिक सेक्टर एग्जाम मैंने काफ़ी बार देखा है पब्लिक सेक्टर एग्जाम लोग भी इस इस फॉर्मूला के यूज़ करके क्वेश्चन डालते हैं एक बार गेट में भी आया था आई थिंक मुझे जितना याद है ओके ना लेट्स गेट इन टू थर्ड ब्यूटिफुल कॉन्सेप्ट एंड दैट इज़ जनरेशन एंड रिकॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ कैरियर दिस इज एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट एज इक्वल एज दैट ऑफ आइंस्टाइन रिलेशन दिस इज ऑल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर गेट पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ना वट इज वट इज योर जनरेशन रिकॉम्बिनेशन इज गोइंग टू डू विथ योर गेट एग्जाम यू विल अंडरस्टैंड लुक योर केयरफुली नाउ यू हैव इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड होल पेयर इन बॉन्डिंग करेक्ट इनिशियल स्टेट में इलेक्ट्रॉन होल पेयर ये लोग बॉन्डिंग में होंगे नाउ If you increase some energy, if if you do the variation in energy in form of electric field in the in in form of any by varying any factors like electric field variation or temperature variation or concentration gradient or concentration gradient variation by any means if you vary the uh, some factor electron is gaining some energy and fro due to that so what are the factors? Are associated to gain electron uh, some energy that is not important in this analysis in this analysis we are going to understand what is the meaning of generation and recombination wo factor important nahi hai wo factors ke wajah se kya hota hai particle ke andar material ke andar wo important hai theek hai so electron will gain some energy due to the variation of any of the factor whether it is a temperature or electric field then after the electron will break their covalent bond and came out it and came out of it and came out of it with some energy electron will break the covalent bond and will came out of the uh, covalent bond with some energy now uske baad kya hoga we will get to know but this process is nothing but called g or generation now after its carrier lifetime is over there is a difference between carrier lifetime and relaxation uh, time so after its carrier lifetime is over electron goes back and recombine with holes now this process is nothing but your recombination now we are going to analyze these two formula okay look here carefully look here carefully your r value recombination is is equals to p by tau p recombination is equals to p by tau p okay recombination is equals to p by tau p here p is nothing but concentration of holes tau p is your carrier lifetime and there is another formula which is associated with this analysis is dp by dt dp by dt is nothing but equals to g minus r okay dp by dt wale concept ko main aapko bolna chahta hu here there is there will be two kind of uh, ideas will uh, will going to play a vital role one is your dp by dt another another idea will be dp by dx now if you change the concentration value of holes if you change the concentration of value of holes with respect to time that will be regarded as rate of change in hole concentration okay but if you change the value of concentration with respect to distance with respect to with respect to the length of that material that will be regarded as concentration gradient please be careful with this two terminology one is rate of change of con hole concentration or the carrier concentration another one is concentration gradient so here we are taking considering we are only considering the hole concentration change rate of change of hole concentration now rate of change of hole concentration is nothing but g minus r what is the meaning of g minus r g is your generation minus recombination 
इसको अगर सब्ट्रैक्ट करोगे वाट एवर द कंसनट्रेशन इज रिमेनिंग दैट विल बी नथिंग बट योर डी पी बाई डी टी ओके ना आर थर्मल इक्विब्रियम केस डी पी बाई डी टी इज जीरो रेट ऑफ चेंज इन होल कंसनट्रेशन इज जीरो आर थर्मल इक्विब्रियम योर डी पी बाई डी टी वैल्यू इज जीरो आर थर्मल इक्विब्रियम योर डी पी बाई डी टी वैल्यू इज जीरो हेंस जी माइनस आर इक्वल्स टू जीरो बिकॉज डी पी बाई डी टी इज नथिंग बट जी माइनस आर सो जी माइनस आर इक्वल्स टू जीरो सो इन प्लेस ऑफ आर इफ यू पुट द वैल्यू P by tau p, we know r का वैल्यू p by tau p है दैट इज़ वी पुट अ वैल्यू p by tau p. सर आपने तो p नॉट पुट किया है हाँ p नॉट इन केस बिकॉज वी आर डी पी बाई डी टी इक्वल्स टू जीरो आर दिस दिस कंडीशन थर्मल इक्विब्रियम कंडीशन के लिए ड्यू टू थर्मल इक्विब्रियम केस वी टूक द वैल्यू p नॉट Now here we can get the value of g is p naught by tau p. Now we are going to put this value in here. So that means we can say the rate of change in whole concentration. The rate of change in whole concentration is nothing but g minus r, where g ka value hai p naught by by tau p and r ka value ham logon ne jo mila tha pehle. ठीक है now this 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 is the analysis we did for holes and we got dp by d. T is equals to p naught minus p by tau. This is this is the value we got. Now, similarly, if we do the analysis for electron, we'll get d n by d t, which will be nothing but n naught minus n by tau. Now, these are extremely important for your gate point of view because you have to recombination rate say, you have to hold the concentration first. And that value you are going to put in other formula to get the value of दैट मेन क्वेश्चन पर उसके लिए आपको ये सब कॉन्सियसली इस ये सारे वैल्यूज को आपको जानना है सो प्लीज बी केयरफुल विद दिस कॉन्सेप्ट दिस इज एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर गेट एग्जाम ओके ओके विद दिस आई थिंक वी आर डन विद टूडेज लेक्चर आई हैव गिवन यू कपल ऑफ क्वेश्चन लाइक फाइव टू सिक्स क्वेश्चन विच आर एसोसिएटेड विद फेरमी एनर्जी लेवल Please go through those questions. Those questions का link uh, will be down in the description along with the uh, slides. With this, we are done with today's lecture. Thank you so much for your patience. And if you want more and more videos like this, give us a thumbs up and do subscribe to our channel, Jail. And one more thing, I'd like to request you. We are trying our best to create a platform where we can cover all subjects from most of our branches and to provide all of these lectures with free of cost. So please support our channel by donating any amount that you are comfortable with through Paytm or free charge. The phone number will be down in the description. See you in the next lecture. Bye.